Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get on into, let me find the video. <laughs> My bad. So let's go ahead and jump into the big dirty bird herself. All right. So listen, y'all. She got to watch out for the internet trolls. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get into it. So <laughs> this video always crack me up, but uh, let's go ahead and let me go ahead and share my screen real quick. All right, y'all. So you know what? Um, Nika was receiving some text messages yesterday and um, a lot of people speculated it was due to her saying her phone number, um, I guess to AutoZone or whatnot. But, you know, I mean, like, girl, didn't you edit the video so you don't listen to what you're, to what you're editing? You're, you just think that you're, I don't know, she, I mean, she edited the video, so I'm, I'm confused on what she did here. Okay, so, um, so I guess people, you know, got her, in, got her phone number, they posted it on the Reddit app, app. people was um, calling and texting her or, or whatnot. So this is what she's about to address in this video. So let me go ahead and play a little bit of this real quick. Came up on today because I was not gonna post any more videos today. Due to respect, this video is based about uh text that came through to my phone late night last night. I wasn't paying attention because I was actually in the bed trying to rest and sleep. Um, so I found my phone in my book bag and then I seen two um, messages on front of my phone. Um, one of them was from I guess supposed to be Hayward, I guess I'm not sure. Um, it was from him, his wife, or whoever. I don't know who it's from, maybe somebody from the internet, but. Um, one of the texts was like, stop calling my name on the internet. Um, I'm tired. This is an app, something, some kind of app. Um, stop having my kids on the internet. It's embarrassing. You keep talking about me on the internet, I'm going to take you to court. First of all, let me get this correct before I go off on the internet on anybody. My baby father, I don't think you need to be doing nothing like that if that was you texting me last night. I don't think you need to be doing that. I'm going to leave it like that because I think you know why. Because if you're going to try to sit up here and act like you missed Mr. Goody to shoes when you're not, trust and believe me, I will come out of the closet on everything. So don't try me like that. That's for one. And for two, um, when these females take my name across the internet on the Reddit app and everywhere else, and you land in the bed with these females, you're not saying it to them, and I get on you about it, and behind closed doors, you're like, oh, you're going to fix the problem, you never fix the problem, let's not go there either. Um, so I'm going to clarify that. I'm not going to go as far as deep in the sea with everything that I want to say. But what I will say is you're going to do respect to your baby mama. That's one thing you will do. And second of all, I give respect to your name every time I'm on the internet. Now, when you don't pay your child support or something like that, and I try to go out there and get help for my kids, um, whenever I need help, when we need food or whatever in the house, I'm going to do what's necessary. Food? Um, Don't you get food stamps? That's where the food comes in for your kids? I mean, come on now. She is <clears throat> maybe even a little bit over 2000 dollars in food stamps a month y'all listen <laughs> like how many of us wish that we could get that amount in in food stamps i mean all the things that you can get everything that, i mean yep, baby refrigerator and we'll get to that one in another video on why her refrigerator is so fucking empty and she got all them food stamps on the 10th her food stamps comes every month on the 10th so yeah, we're going to get into that in the next video. But girl, um, why you she like, oh, if I need to come on the internet and get food for my kids so my kids can have food to eat, I mean, and ask the people for, so my kids can have food. Girl, that's what the food stamps is for. Very much of my kids eat and have lights and a roof over the head, regardless of what you may do. Now, at the end of the day, I will never bash you on the internet like that. If you're not going to do what you're supposed to do, then I'll be like, okay, we well, you know child support didn't come today or this is not going right. They were can't make it or something like that. That's the one thing I do. I don't go out there and bash them all over there. That's one thing you get on do. I don't have time for the drama. Second of all, the main thing I want to talk about is somebody talking about my grandmother. You don't never talk about nobody dead grandma. You don't do that. People have no respect. I know my number on the internet. I know you can talk about my name and my number comes up. Fine. It don't matter how many times I change, it's still going to come up, all right? Now, one thing I don't like is my story for one thing i don't like is when somebody talks about my dead grandma i have never had nobody disrespect me about that ever in my life this is the first time i ever got a text like that 
Okay, so y'all, let's, let's go ahead and start real quick so we can go ahead and read this message. Um, I think she's going to read it, but anyways. But anyways, so um, Nika, she's really dragging this, y'all. Like, I, I promise you, she really is. It's like three other videos after this one where she just constantly keeps on mentioning someone texting her, talking about this text message where somebody's disrespecting her grandmother that passed away. Now, you know what? Um, and, and, you know, and the reason why she's dragging it is, it is because she wants sympathy, you know, just the same reason why she always keeps on mentioning her childhood and what she went through in the past. So she want people to be like, oh, well, she went through all these things in the past. She went through a lot when she was younger. So, I mean, you know, I feel really sorry for her. And this is the way, this is the reason why she is this way. Bullshit. I don't have no sympathy for this hoe. As all. Oh, I, I don't have no sympathy when when every time she keeps on mentioning her grandmother passed away. Um, I don't know. I don't have no sympathy for this person. I mean, um, this text message that she received. I don't have no sympathy for what she went through as a child because, bitch, you're a grown ass woman now. You're forty years old. Okay, what? No, you have your own kids right now. Get over it. There's there's plenty of people out here that's that has been through worse. Okay, and when they grow older, they they put themselves in better situ. I mean, and they like they're better people. I mean, you know, like not necessarily like better people, but they are. They make sure that their kids don't experience what they experience. Um, they 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 come out on top. They're out here making plenty of money. They don't keep on bringing up the past and everything. Like, oh, I went through this. I went through that for sympathy or whatnot. You went through it, okay? You got through it. That's good. Now it's time to move past it. You're a grown ass woman now, okay? Just make sure that you don't repeat the same cycles that you went through as a kid with your kids. And this is what we see it. I mean, there is absolutely no excuse. There's a lot of people out here who've been, who been through worse and they're striving and they're doing so good right now. Okay. So when I'm not, I don't have no sympathy for this hoe, period. Now, when it comes to her grandma, listen, this is, this, this is a thing, right? Um, people are going to always bring up things that will make you upset. So if you, so if you get upset over this, they're going to keep on bringing it up. That's the thing, you know, when people, when you like, you know, I have kids. So let's say to get to me, people won't try to talk about my kids or whatnot. Listen, there's something that you could say. <laughs> the fuck? It's not going to bother me. There, it's not going to bother me because people will say anything to get, to, to get you upset. That's the thing. The fuck? You have to understand that they will say anything to make you upset. And if like you're a relative of yours that's passed and you care so much about them, they're going to bring that up. I mean, they're just trying to make you mad. Right now, you know what this. So the person has sent a text message saying you need to rot in hell with your grandma. You neglectful piece of shit. Stop breeding kids. You slow ass retarded bitch. Ugly, stinking self. Stop hiding food and hygiene products from them kids. Stop selling and eating up the kids food stamps. I'm going to report you to CPS and VHS for fraud and abuse. Okay, Nika, what? Like, why is she keep on stringing this along? All they said was, you need to rot in hell with your grandma. That's it. I mean, what? You don't know whether she's in heaven. You don't know whether she's in hell. But listen, baby, I don't think she, listen, I'm going to be truthful. I don't think she's sitting pretty in heaven, okay? Um, if the, if the horrors of what Nika has said went on in that house, the grandma knew about it, period. Like, we all know some matriarchs in our families who like to keep stuff on a hush-hush and keep stuff in the family, right? Just because it's their child that's out here doing it. So they like, okay, we're just going to keep it on a hush. Like, you know, like we all know somebody out here that's like that. No, no, it stops right now. We're not going to continue this hush-hush bullshit. No, whether it's your whether it's your child or not, you need to say something. Get that ass put in jail. Matter of fact, uh, to, I don't know I, that that nigga. He would have been dying that day. Period. Like so, yeah. So yeah. I mean, Nika, you the one who told us that. You know, you, you told your grandma about the stuff. Uh, the grandma knew. I don't care whether if Nika told her or not. The grandma knew. Okay, she knew. 
And whether or not was Nika telling the truth or not, if she was, if this did happen in the house, the grandma knew, period. So I don't think she's sitting pretty in heaven. So Nika, don't act all surprised and shocked. Because, I mean, what? So, I mean, so that's all they said was that she's riding in hell. Nika's dragging this whole thing out. In every fucking video after this, you won't see her saying it. I can't believe people saying that about my grandma. I can't believe I got a text message. I feel so bad. I feel so sad. Girl, shut the fuck up and move on. And the text says, you need to rotten in hell. So this was so important that you couldn't wait till you got to, um, what was it, Dollar General in the parking lot to read the text message. You want to read the text message while you're driving. Okay, smart one. Oh, this is what the text says. With your grandmother, you, you neglect, you neglectful piece of shit. Stop breeding kids, you slow. Um, I'm a I'm I'm fit I'm fit to report you to CPS and DHS for fraud and abuse. All right, so something like that, you when you text somebody phone like that, you gotta have proof that you um that I'm doing fraud. You have to have proof that my kids are being neglected. You got okay. The proof is you leaving. So we're going to speak on the neglect, okay? The proof is you leaving every fucking day, early in the morning, just you and Naya. You're not with the baby. You're not with, um, Lena's not in the car either, just you and Naya. So Lena and Sia is at home. This is when the kids are in school. It's what, what, one of the kids, Kaya or Leah, one of them staying home from school. Because you know they be trading off. That's why she be getting them milkshakes. That's why she be giving them double scoops of ice cream. It's because one they be trading off staying home while her and Naya rip her run early in the fucking morning. Going absolutely nowhere. So, I mean, that's neglect right there, boo. I'm confused. And then, what, the fraud? Um, Have you reported your YouTube um money to... um? Uh, welfare have you reported that no okay didn't think so <laughs> you got to have proof that i'm hiding the person um, products in my house so you got to have proof that i'm selling food stamps first of all if you're going to come after me like that then you need to be brought out number right here phone number right there at the top and then that's the um the proof of you selling food stamps bitch there's no food in your house there's no food in your refrigerator what what other proof do we need the text right there i don't know who number that is all right so I guess, I don't know, but I don't think she talked about this text message, but this text message was the absolute truth, okay? Um, they did not say anything, you know, like off the wall or crazy. They just told the truth, period. It says, you're celebrating something she hasn't even attempted to accomplish, having people waste their time coming for a graduation party based on a lie. I don't know why Keisha would put her hard-earned money out for your antics, God sent you someone that truly wants you and your kids to succeed. Maybe she's in on it. I don't know. To break a generational curse, you have to teach your kids to not follow in your footsteps. And you know what? As much as I don't want to see it, I can see Naya following in Nika's footsteps because Naya enables Nika. I don't know. I, you know, I don't think she's scared of Nika. It's just Naya is Nika's yes man. She always has a fucking excuse for everything that Nika does. Or she always has a comment for if somebody says something about it. We'll get to it. But um, she also said, you do everything in your power to get your daughter up into the proper resources that can help her in this life. If you know you don't have the knowledge to instill in her, you make it your duty to put her in the proper spaces with people that can help her. You're using Miss Keisha for dumb shit. Ask Keisha to mentor Naya. Ask Keisha to take her around accomplished women. Ask Keisha to teach Naya how to dress like a woman. I mean, for the love of God, if she don't take this damn bonnet off, I'm going to knock her the fuck out, okay? I'm sick of it. I'm sick and tired of seeing this damn bonnet all the way down to her eyebrows. It's ridiculous. It's time to take it off, girl. How old are you? You are too fucking old to be walking out here every day with bonnets on. I don't care what other people in Sumter is doing. What, you want to follow the, the Sumter trend of them walking around with fucking bonnets on looking stupid? Man. All right. Um, where was I at? Um, do, 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 do. 
Um, she needs to be taught that, Mika. She needs to be taught how to be a woman. Hello, you're not teaching her that because you don't know. And that's okay. It's no shade to you, I promise. You're passing down the same trifling. One more time. Let's run that back real quick. You're passing down the same trifling lifestyle you learned. And then I can't see this stuff at the bottom, but I think it says Naya will never succeed lying to people about fake accomplishments. Hello. <laughs> but we got to run this one back. You're passing down the same trifling lifestyle you learned. Okay, girl, like, I don't understand it, man. Oh, my goodness. We don't need no more Nikas in this world. We really don't. Bitches who think that it's okay to go run, go outside in a robe. A stanky, nasty rogue. Are you are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, girl. Oh my goodness, yo. She could she could never, never come on, on the East Coast and be walking out outside with a fucking rogue boy and, and think you're about to go into the store without somebody saying something to you. <laughs> Hell no. It, it's not about to happen over here. I don't know what they do there, but it don't happen here. Okay? That's... Mm -mm. That's just a mess. It is what is up there. I know y'all can see y'all probably zooming in. But that's the text right there. And I will put it on my uh, video too as well. I don't understand why people be so disrespectful and rude. I don't care how much fame is on the internet, how many videos I post out there, me and my children or whatever. I don't have personal um personal stuff for my kids, personal hygiene for my kids. I put my stuff up for my children to have. So when they run out, what thing, what thing about my kids? Let me address to y'all. If I put soap on the counter, that's night, it goes missing. Okay, if I put whatever Ajax on the counter for them to wash dishes with, it goes missing or they use it all. So by me putting things in my household is what I do. And I don't have to explain me if you was in my ass every day. So listen, the things go missing. Why? Because you're not teaching them nothing. The fuck? How, how you put soap down and the soap go missing? Where the fuck the soap going? Hello? Like what? You're not asking questions? I'm confused. Like, I never had soap missing from somewhere. Never had to um, put up dishwashing liquid, the Ajax. What the hell? Really? Like, how? what are these things being used for? What are they? Why are they taking these things? What, what are they doing with them? How come you're not teaching them that? Like, what? Like, you in my butt. Like, you under me every day to say my ass is stink. Because so how you know my butt stink? You in it? You ain't in it. I well, we can tell, boo. The fuck? Look what you look what you out here wearing. You're wearing a fucking robe. You look stanky. Like, what are you talking about? We can't tell that you think, girl. You look you look like you stink. You look like you did not bathe. Out here wearing a stanky ass robe. All right, and stop hiding food. I don't hide food. What's in my car? My snacks that I have for myself. Like I go in the store every day and buy my kids snacks and take it in the house for them to eat. Whatever I have in my car, like my snacks, a bag of chips, whatever I have, that's my stuff. That's not for them to come in my car and take it out and say, okay, they're going to eat it without asking me. I have food in the house for my children. I have snacks in the house. If they eat it all, that's their problem. But other than that, I'll be out to the store every day buying my kids and stuff. One thing you're not going to do, I have zero tolerance for is talk about my grandma and say I should rot and help my grandma. What kind of evil person are you? What kind of person are you for you to come out your mouth and say something like that so bad? And what type of evil person is she? The fuck? It's all the things that you said was true that went down in her, in her household. She knew about it. So what type of evil person was her? To allow something like that to happen to her grandchild. The hell? What? What? Stop. Bad. That is ridiculous. I don't understand. Like, I have to address this comment because that, that just don't make no sense for you to text my phone and say I need to rot in the hell with my grandmother. My grandma was a good woman. You know what I said? She was a oh, person that took care of her kids and her grandkids when my mama walked out and left us behind. But for you to say, I need to rot in the hell with my grandma, that's very disrespectful and rude for you to send something like this to somebody's phone. And that's the reason why I made a YouTube video so everybody can see. Now somebody calling me now from a Texas number 1346 six something. All these anonymous ass calls coming through out of nowhere. I don't know who this call is. Hello? And they hang up. Why her scary ass always be having Naya answer unknown calls? Like, bitch, you that damn scary. You you on the phone, Nika, and they're not in your face. Answer the damn phone. The hell? <laughs> what kind of scary shit is this? And Naya, Naya, answer, answer. Hello? What the fuck? So fucking stupid. <laughs> she is so scary. Hang up. Simple.
Hello? Hello? Hey, Bass is calling. Um, this is Tammy. Who is this? Who are you it's looking for? Like, why is she whispering shit to Naya? Bitch, you're right there. You're right there. Say after. The hell are you scared of? Is this Naya? Yes. Nika's daughter Naya? The bitch retarded. I don't give a fuck. So the, 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 the chick on the phone is fucking some chick named Tammy from fucking Texas, okay? She got Nika's number off of the Reddit app. Um, She claims that she likes Nika. She be always watching her channel and stuff like that. And she's a true supporter or whatnot. You a true supporter, but you on the Reddit app. Okay, sis. Stop it. Stop it. What the fuck you doing on the Reddit app then? Huh? What, 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 what you doing? Okay, great. Stop it. Not no supporter. But anyways. Yeah, they they, they just be like uh, I understand, you know. Oh my god. And I'm an older woman. I'm 52. I helped my grandma. That made my day because that lady, she was talking for a minute. Nika was looking out the window, rubbing on her neck. She like, oh my god, when she showed up. But yeah. That just one supporter that called and said, "Okay, your number on the radio app is out there. Everybody's calling you, so like, boom, my name out there. Like, I'm out there, out there. So if you wanna, you know what? It's crazy how they don't like you, but they continue to watch and harass. Yeah, but not only they put my number on the radio app, she just yeah. So listen, let me tell you something real quick. So Naya, she claims she's so smart, but but the bitch is so fucking stupid. Like, I promise you. Oh my goodness, Naya is really starting to get on work my damn nerves. Like, she's really agitating me." And she's she's not gonna do nothing but follow into the same footsteps as Mika. We see it already. Bonnet's wearing outside, um, looking all nasty and stinky in these damn biker shorts, same fucking clothes every damn day. Um, um, Crocs and it's 40 degrees outside, um, holes in the crocs, everything. Crocs too fucking big. I mean, you know what? I cannot always has an excuse for everything that Mika's. Nika does. Bitch don't do shit but enable Nika. I mean, come on. So, uh, let me tell you something. It's the same way how people watch, you know, love after hip hop. You you watch just to, and then, you know what? We actually watch just to make sure that the kids are okay. I mean, I watch to inform people, like, we cannot have no more Nikas walking around on this earth. We cannot. We cannot. It, it has to stop right here. But unfortunately, Naya is going to be a Nika walking around amongst our amongst the people. Okay, she might she might even meet one of y'all's um one of y'all's um one of y'all's sons or nephews or cousins or whatever. And when, when that happened, y'all, no, 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 y'all better y'all better tell them like, listen, no, you don't want to fuck with her. Nope, she's stupid. We ain't got time. We ain't got time for that stupidity in our family. Nope. So dad, that shit right there. Naya, she's a lot. She's starting to be a lost cause. I don't see. There's no saving her. There's no saving her at all. Just call me. Yeah, but she's what she said was, you can't with the comments and people call you can't take nothing personal because some of them people don't even have a life themselves. They don't. I like how she said that. <sighs> so so stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. You know what? Every, every the people in the comments, all I see is people trying to tell Nika on just basically it is constructive criti criticism that everybody's trying to get across to Nika, but she's just not understanding it. Like she's so set in her, so set in her childish ways. Like, the bitch literally has a mind of a fucking 12-year-old. I don't know. I don't know. But may maybe even younger, because I don't even want to disrespect 12-year-olds out there, because they smarter than her. But, man, this this lady, you just can't. You can't. And her, her daughter just like her. Because you can't say that personal, because her, her name is Tammy. I mean, she's really a supporter, but she sounds so young. Yeah. I was thinking she was like, and my Ooh. thing is like this, like I, I had you answer the phones I didn't know, and I was upset about what people were saying about my grandma. So now that she called, it made my days. Bitch, shut up. You had her answer the phone because you were scared. Stop it.
so I don't have to continue on going on about the, the, the harassment comment, but I will put it on the video. But I really did enjoy the conversation with her and I really did enjoy that she called and I called her back to see if she was a, a follower, a fan, a hater, or whatever. But uh, speaking with her today was like, tonight is dope. So I'm just going to leave that where it's at. But just due to respect, I'm going to say my grandma, um, I should rock and help my grandma because that's just something just, just negative for somebody to say. But for well, she ain't in heaven. We just going to say that. Okay. But she's not in heaven. I'm, I'm just keeping it real. If the stuff that you said is in fact true, she's not in heaven. Period. Okay. I'm going to have my number all over the app like that. It's crazy too. You said I it. Saved in. I programmed you in. Um, I got to blur out her number because I showed her and stay on the video her number too. And I thought it was somebody that was calling from trying to be funny. So I'll just go back and edit the video and cut that number out. Because I thought it was a hater. But anyways, I, I appreciate the comment. But anyways, if something negative come up, y'all, of that nature, please do not say nothing about my dead grandma. That's just disrespectful, right? And anybody will say that on the comment section. Like, that was very disrespectful and rude for somebody to say at the end of the day. But me and Hale's situation, what we got going on um, in our life with our kids, the co-parenting, everything, when anything comes up with us and our children, I do linger out to social media, try to reach out to him, let him know that, you know, I need your help. I need you to do this. I need you to do that. But at the end of the day, bashing him all over the internet is one thing I don't do. But if there's something that I need help with, I'm going to go out there and ask for help for me and my children. In regards of the situation, what he may have going on, I don't care about no wife, no girlfriend, what he may have going on. If you want to take me to court, it's fine. We got to go to court anyway for our children, for child support. Ain't no shame in Nika's game. She said that she gonna come out to the internet and ask for help. She don't ask directly to YouTube. She dry begs with YouTube. But baby, she will get on some TikTok and she will beg the TikTok people for some money for, for so she could go out there and get her kids McDonald's. And them motherfucking idiots over there give it to her. All the time. All the time. She knows she can't do that shit with, with the YouTube people. No, no we're, de we're done with that. We're we're done, bitch. You get you get over two thousand dollars in food stamps every month. You get get your food together with that, because yeah, it's you got to be selling them or something. And then she goes on talking about Hayward that she don't care about that he his wife or his girlfriend or whatnot. They're in a co-parenting relationship. Listen, it's been numerous times where Nika has mentioned that um, she's been with, um, she said, she said something to the effect of like, she's been with, she been, she's been involved with Hayward for 10 years or more than 10 years. And um, the wife just all of a sudden came about maybe three years ago, three or four years ago or whatnot. So she's, so she's thinking just because she's been with him longer or known him longer, that puts her over everybody else. And she thinks just because she, because she always mentioned, I'm, I had his first child. I'm the first baby mom, no. That's his wife, but I'm the first baby mom, though. I had his first child. I had his uh, firstborn son, a junior, you know, H.J. Hayward Jr. and stuff like that. Girl, listen, let me tell you something real quick. And this is coming from me because I'm, I'm the first um, child's mother. I have the first son, um, um, that's a junior. But girl, let me tell you something real quick. D being the first of anything don't hold no weight, boo. It don't. Dummy. The fuck you see it? You see how he treated you all these years, even when y'all were together, stupid. Like I'm what's what's I'm confused. <laughs> Like, girl, just because you're naming that you're the first of everything and that you've been with him and you know him longer, that don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. The fuck is how he treat you. He don't tr he treats you like you the fucking dirt in the grass. Like, girl, he, he treats you like shit. All them times that y'all were together, girl, he was out there getting other women pregnant, marrying other chicks, having three or different three girlfriends on the side and stuff like that. And you allowed him to keep on coming back to you, dummy. Hence, that's why you're saying that Sai is his baby. I mean, come on now. Come on. Come on. Like, you look stupid. You look stupid. And then in the comments, someone said that, um, that Nika, they called her a mistress. Right. And Nika don't consider herself to be a mistress because she says that she was with him first and then he got married with the um got married to his wife and then was still messing with her. So that's why she had she had um Lena inside or whatnot. Girl, 
you are the mistress. I'm confused. What, what, what don't you understand? When a man is married, whether you was with him first or not, did he marry you? No, he didn't. I don't care if he asked you to marry you. I mean, Nika claims that Hayward asked her to marry him. I don't think he was serious. I think he just wanted some money or he wanted her to um, do something for him. He didn't mean that shit when he asked you to marry him, stupid. Hence the reason why y'all not married now. Because if he was serious about marrying you, you would have married him. Point blank. You would have married him. And y'all would be married right now. And he would just still be having all those girlfriends on the side. So he got married. He was still messing with you. That made you a mistress. And now he's, now uh, two other chicks are his mistresses. And he's still married to the same dumb bitch. I mean, come on. Like, okay, it's okay to, you know, I mean, like she keeps on saying, you know, I don't have no feelings for Hayward. I, I, I got love for him, but I'm not in love with him. Blase, blase. Girl, be quiet. Like I said before, if Hayward was to come and knock on Nika's door, and want to go sleep in her bed, He would. she would allow him to, okay? She would kick out all the kids, and she would allow him to come in there and sleep in her bed. I mean, <laughs> like, I'm confused at where they were. Listen, I'm confused at where they were making all these babies at since everybody was sleeping in her bed. Like, ill. Like, well, what was going on? I mean, what, did you kick all the kids out the room? I mean, did you only do it at certain times of the day? I mean, was it done outside in the car when it was dark? Because, what? Like, how did, I mean, girl, like, everybody in the world sleep with you. Sleep in that bed. So, how was anything done? But, yeah, y'all, so, yeah. That's it on her. You know, um, she's really stretching it with this um, grandma sob story bullshit, you know, really sad and really upset about people keep on, you know, I mean, about that person texting her about her grandma in hell and she's going to be in hell with the grandma. At the end of the day, Mika, it's what you said. You put you, you the one who brought your grandma up. You the one who told people what was going on in your house and that you told grandma and whether you told grandma or, or not. Baby, grandma already knew before you told her, okay? Before probably, probably before you even knew. Your grandma knew. If that stuff was true, your grandma knew. So she's not sitting pretty in heaven. I'm going to just let you know that right now. But anyways, all right, y'all. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all night. Go ahead and like this video if you have not already. Go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts below. And go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. I will catch you guys later. Peace.